All right, guys, just stumbled upon a big rattlesnake. That's awesome. I'm just gonna let him go back into the brush. Uh, these guys are state endangered, so you're not allowed to harass them or mess with them at all. That's pretty neat, that was a big one too. You can still see his tail rattling right there. Cool, and there he goes. Well, that's a good start to the hike. Uh, hopefully we see some more snakes today. Uh, but that's pretty awesome. All right, guys, here is the second timber rattlesnake of the day. This guy was just coiled up right here. That's pretty cool. He's a pretty dark one, too. Not as dark as the last one. You can hear him rattling right now. And there's his head right there. You can kind of see the rattle rattling behind his head right now. Yeah, such pretty snakes. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to leave her alone. Uh, try not to bother her too much. And maybe we'll find some more today. All right, guys, just found some more rattlesnakes. There's a big girl right here coming out. That's a big and beautiful rattlesnake. She's just gonna slip back underneath her rock. There's still one curled up right there. I don't know how well you guys can see. Right there, there's a whole bunch of babies piled up. Oh, and actually, here's a third adult. You can kind of see her head, and she's coiled up in this bush. That's neat. I'm not going to bother these guys much. Um, so I don't want to stress them out or anything like that. But that's so cool. I don't get to see babies that often. Neat. I'm going to back away from these guys so I don't bother them anymore. And maybe we'll find some more snakes today. Hey guys, I'm currently headed back to the car right now. I didn't see any more rattlesnakes, uh, but I did want to mention a couple things about rattlesnakes, uh, especially where I was at. And if you ever run across a hibernaculum, it's best to uh, give the rattlesnake some space. What you saw me record is what all I did. As soon as I record them or take a photo, I back away from them. I don't want to stress them out. Uh, they have young around. And honestly, it's for your own safety as well, uh, not to get close to rattlesnakes. And also, I don't visit places like this often at all. Uh, this is a hibernaculum actually on private property that I have permission to go to. And I don't want people to stumble across and figure out uh, that the rattlesnakes are back here. Uh, just for the rattlesnake safety and for people's safety. Uh, so they don't get bit or people don't go back and kill the rattlesnakes, which actually happens more often than you think. All right, here's the next snake of the day. This is a northern water snake that I just flipped underneath a rock. It's pretty cool. He's not that big. He's a little guy. Uh, really grumpy, though. Uh, I'm going to put his rock back and I'm going to let him go right back under it. He's just going back down into the stream. Oh, there's a little ring neck. Nice. He's got a little ring neck. Get him to stop squirming. That's cool. This one's pretty on the belly too, if I can get on the flip over. Pretty belly. I think he's in shed as well cool that was over that was the next rock over from that water snake that i just flipped i'm gonna put his rock back put him underneath of it and hopefully get some more snakes all right guys just got home uh, i didn't see any more snakes at the last spot but i'm gonna flip the trusty snake garden board and hopefully we can find something
a cricket under there. Nothing. This thing hasn't had anything under it for the last couple of times that I flipped it, which is weird in the springtime. Oh no, I'm just get a snake under here every single day. Well, that'll probably do it for the video. Um, if you guys haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe.